Right, so following on from my little notebook EDC uh, video, I just thought I'd uh, take stock and see what I really genuinely do carry every day. Um, it's a little bit ridiculous, but I thought I'd share it anyway. So this is my rucksack. Um, can't remember where I purchased it from, from a supermarket. I think it's only about £20, nothing major. It's uh, like one of those anti-theft ones, so there's no zips on the outside. There's literally just um, the zip all the way around the edge. So we'll start with uh, looking inside the, the little front packet. It's, it's designed, I think, so you can take it to, to an airport, so you can put it over the, one of those pushy trolley things. Not sure what they're called. Um, so inside my first sort of zip pocket I've got, I've got a moleskin, uh, which I tend to write my thoughts for the day on. Uh, generally, uh, just brain dump as much as I can. Turns out to be complete gibberish, probably. Uh, what have we got in here? Um, some pyritin, just in case I get some allergies. That's all I've got in that one. Uh, so have a look in the next zip pocket. Right here. Some compliments. Can't remember where I purchased those from, but uh, obviously just in case you get stinky breath and you want to talk to somebody. I've got my little ear pods. Um, some Orkey ear pods, which I purchased from Amazon. They were about £20. Um, surprisingly good, actually, uh, compared to paying whatever ridiculous price Apple want for their products on Samsung. But yeah, 20 quid. can't say I had any issues with them. Connected every time, been perfect. Um, I'll put links in the description and um, see where I purchased it all from. In the next zip pocket we have... Ooh, let's have a look. Leads, various, oh, uh, leads for the uh, lightning cable, and then I've got a, a lightning cable, micro USB, and a USB C. So uh, they're obviously quite useful. Uh, now, in the main compartment, and zip this all the way around. Undo the poppers on this, actually, undo all the way. Right, so, as I like to draw, for some reason I carry every pencil under the sun, graphite, rubber, water, uh, brush, um, every pencil you can possibly imagine, mechanical pencil, paintbrush, um, tortillon, or um, rubbing stick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that comes with me everywhere, just in case I get in the mood of doing a bit of pencil drawing. Uh, my glasses for uh, long sighting and driving. My notebook and uh, brass pens that I've already reviewed uh, or showed on the last one, last video. So my Lilliput, my SketchUp and uh, another smudging stick. Put that away. And also my Wanderings notebook. Put that there. Another pencil, just in case I break the other ones. Got a good old Parker Jota. Can't go wrong with a Parker Jota. Uh, I think this is Oxford Pinstripe, currently with a Schmidt refill. Um, I'll be doing a review on um, some other refills on a Parker Jota on another video, uh, as I seem to collect Parker J Jotas for some reason. Uh, got uh, a Twisby fountain pen, just in case my other pens fail on me, because you never know. Can't carry enough pens. Uh, what else we got? Got uh, battery, just in case my gadgets start to go flat. Uh, I think that was a freebie from a Mercedes dealer. Seems to work all right. Never had any issues with that one either. Chewing gum, yeah, just in case. As you can see, never opened it, so I'm obviously not really uh, much of a fan of chewing gum. Glasses for drawing. And uh, yep, you guessed it, another fountain pen, this time a Caveco Sport, which uh, runs just normal black ink, just in case my others fail, obviously. Uh, gadget for drawing ellipses and straight lines. Uh, 
some Caveco Palm Green ink, because I usually like drawing in green. For some reason, I've just changed to black at the moment. Well, oh, headache tablets, as you do. Different leads for the uh, SketchUp. It's just a kneadable eraser. Yeah, normal kneadable eraser. Obviously for pencil drawing. That's it, that's all we've got in that side. What we've got in here, and I think, got my iPad mini with uh, Apple Pencil. Like sketching on that with the uh, Procreate app. That's always good to have with me. It's like carrying a complete set of art supplies in one go. But uh, I can never find uh, a substitute. I've never found a um, screen protector good enough to substitute the feel of paper, the pen on paper. Uh, we've got in this one. This is the old good old Ster Derwent sketchbook and a little notebook, just in case I feel like noting anything down. Obviously felt like drawing mountains at that point. So that always comes with me. And then my sketchbook, which uh, has got various drawings in of various things. And that's what I carry, unbelievably, every day of the week, <laughs> everywhere I go. I think it's a tad over the top, but you know what? Yeah, what the hell? I, I just carry it around with me, just in case. Um, be interesting to see how far everybody else goes for the just in case. Because um, uh, I think it, you can run away with it a little bit and uh, get a bit excessive. So I'll just, I'll just lay it all out just so we can see what actually goes with me. And I could probably, got to be honest, I could probably minimise this down to uh, just that, <laughs> really for drawing. But I quite like having the rest of it with me and especially this, because this goes with me everywhere. Um, but that's it. Uh, if you uh, want to see anything else, in, the, in leave some uh, stuff in the comments. If you like it, I'll uh, I'll do another sort of like breakdown of all the other bits and pieces. I'll probably even go through that. Uh, I'm going to go through some Parker Jota refills, see what I think of those, and then probably do some sketching at some point and uh, upload those videos. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you don't mind. And um, perhaps see you in another video. Cheers.